Wagwan lads, in this video we'll be creating an interactive league table completely from scratch in Excel, exactly like this one. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll make a part 2 video explaining how to return the table as of a specific round in the past and ability not included within this video. For this video, all you'll need are the fixtures and completed results of your competition. In this one, I'll be using the 2021 English Premier League fixtures and results. You see I have them loaded from round 1 to round 38. Um, it's important that when following along with this video, your data is formatted exactly like mine here. So you have the round column, home, which is the home team, goals for the home team, uh, goals representing the away team goals and the away team. So let's look at an example. Uh, Brentford's the home team. It's round one. Brentford has scored two goals. Um, Arsenal um, have scored zero goals and Arsenal are the away team. Let's get into it. Firstly, lads, we have to allocate the amount of points a team receives for winning, drawing, or losing a match. We'll set this up within the I and J columns. We'll put win points, draw points, and loss points, and allocate a winning team three points, one point, and zero points beside these values. So in the J column, just put three, one, zero. All right, now we have to grant each team the points they've won for each match. So go ahead and set up a home points column in column F. Now we're going to use an ifs function to determine how many points a team gets. So our first test, if home goals is greater than away goals, we're going to return the value win points. And make sure you absolute reference that because that value is constant. If home goals equals away goals, then we'll return draw points. Again, use the command T shortcut to absolute reference this. And finally, if home goals is less than away goals then the home team's going to lose so we'll return the value of lost points which is zero. Press enter and you've got the formula auto fill that by double clicking. Clicking the bottom right hand corner of the cell and you can see if we go down fills it in for every value there. Let's look at an example the first game Brentford beat Arsenal 2-0 therefore the home team Brentford receives three points but I want to do something. Let's delete the scores in this match. Okay, there's a problem with our formula. The ifs function thinks that a nothing cell equals a nothing cell, which it does, but in this case, the game hasn't been played yet. So what we want to do, ifs blank, if the home team score is blank, we'll return nothing. So if there's no score entered, we'll, we'll assume the game hasn't been played, which is correct. We only enter scores when the game um, has been played. So if we autofill that, we get a blank cell this time in the home points column, and when we enter the scores, it changes up to the correct value. Let's do another example. Delete that again. That's correct. All right. Um, we have to do the same thing in column G's by setting up a away points function. So ifs, and we'll do is blank again. If the home team uh, goals is blank, it doesn't really matter. You can do home or away. You're never going to have a situation where um, one's entered and one's not. If away team goals is more than home team goals, away team gets some win points. Absolute reference again. Away team equals home team goals, draw points. Away team goals, less than home team goals, lost points. Absolute reference every time, guys. Auto fill that by double clicking the bottom right hand side of the cell and we've got our values. We'll do an example, Crystal Palace, Brentford, nil or draw, one point each. Aston Villa beat Newcastle 2-0. Aston Villa get the three points there. We go all the way to the bottom. Liverpool beat Wolves, so they get three points. Next, I'm going to create another worksheet titled Table, and for this section of the video, I'll be extracting the raw data from our league table. So title this table. If you already know the list of teams in the competition, go ahead and paste them in this column, which we'll title Club. However, right now, I'll show you a little trick to pull these teams from our results worksheet using the unique function. Type in equals unique, and we need to find our array. So our array, which we're pulling from, is all the home teams. 
return that and it's going to return a list of unique items from that array. We'll do the same thing with the array teams. Unique, and this time our array will be all the away teams. Type in A2 there, yep. Okay, now we've got two lists. I'm gonna copy this and paste special, only the values, because it's an array. We're going to delete that now. And we're going to find a unique list of this array. And there's our teams. We'll do the same thing, pasting special, so that when we delete the original array, um, column A or club won't be affected. Control, shift, down, and to the side. And we delete all of that, and we've got a unique list of teams. Now that we have the teams, we can start working out the data for our league table. So create columns across court matches, wins, draws, losses, goals for, goals against, goal difference, and points. Make a bit of room for yourself. So to work out the amount of matches a team has played, um, I'll count the amount of home games with the amount of away games that team has played using the count ifs function. So type in count ifs. Now our first criteria range is not the list of clubs. In fact, it's the range of all the home teams um, in our results worksheet. So make sure you absolute reference this. And our criteria is we're finding the amount of times that Brentford appears in this. Only absolute reference the um, uh, column, not the row. Our second criteria, we want to find the amount of times a team has played a match. So our range will be all the home team scores, absolute references. And our criteria will simply be greater than or equal to zero because when the result is greater than or equal to zero, a team has played. So we get 19. Why is that? Well, we've only done... Uh, Brentford's home games. To do their away games, we're going to do the same thing, plus count ifs. Our criteria range this time will be uh, the range of away teams, so go to your results worksheet, scroll up to make it a bit easier, highlight all of these away teams, uh, the shortcut is control shift down arrow, absolute references, again our criteria is the table and the absolute reference the column, our second criteria range is the list of um, away team goals, absolute references. And again, the criteria will be, and make sure you put this in the uh, speech um, uh, brackets, uh, greater than or equal to zero, because when it's greater than or equal to zero, a team is played. And I always like to do my formulas in an if error, so that if there's an error, it returns zero. Autofill this, and you get 38 matches for every team. We'll calculate the number of wins a team has had using the same count ifs method, except this time you'll notice that my second criteria changes from being greater than or equal to zero to the amount of points scored for a win. I'll show you now. So our criteria range, it's basically the same thing as before. List of home teams, absolute reference this. It'll be Brentford again. <clears throat> Although my criteria range uh, this time is the home team points. Absolute reference this. And again, the absolute reference shortcuts command T for Mac. Um, our criteria will be the win points. So the amount of time three comes up in the home points column, that's how many wins we'll be getting at home. And of course, we need to do the um, away games wins for each team, and it's the same process. We can just copy that, because Brentford is still the team we're finding how many wins have had away. Our second criteria range is the away points column, and that means the criteria we're finding within this is the same thing that's the win points how many times the three comes up again I'm going to use the if error uh, function so that if there's an error 
instead of returning a reference error or something like that, I'll just return zero. This has worked, so we'll auto fill this down by double clicking the bottom right hand part of the cell. Now we have to do the same thing for the draws and losses column, and we can do this extremely quickly by changing the second criteria for each county function to the amount of points awarded for a draw and a loss respectively. So we'll just change that to draw points, copy. So now it's finding the amount of times the draw points, which is one in our scenario, comes up within these home and away points columns. And we can do the same thing for losses. Just copy and paste simply the formula and replace it with the loss points, the value for loss points, making sure to absolute reference, it's critical. If you don't absolute reference when you auto fill down, it will all muck up. Great, auto fill that and we're done this bit. Next, we can calculate the goals for and goals against for each team by adding the amount of goals scored or considered at home with the amount of goals away using the sum if function. So our range, now when we're using this, it's virtually the exact same process as when we did the count ifs, except we need a sum range. Our criteria will be the home team, absolute reference the column, not the row, and our sum range will be the... Um, home team goals. So instead of finding the amount of occurrences, it's going to sum all the times uh, Brentford plays at home and the amount of goals they score. So obviously we're going to add this with the amount of times Brentford are away and the amount of goals they score away. So our range is the away teams. We can just copy in our criteria, that's going to be Brentford, and our sum range is the away team goals. That's our formula. Again, add in if error so that if there's a reference error, it returns zero. All right, and that's correct. Auto fill that down. I'm going to do the same process for goals against by copying and pasting the goals for sum if formula and simply changing the sum range to the goals scored by the opposing team. So we'll highlight, highlight our sum range and instead of the goals scored by the home team, um, we're going to do it by the away team because our, uh, our range is the home teams and we want to record the goals conceded. So we're going to want to return the sum of uh, the goals of the away team and we'll do the same thing so when it's an away team we want the goals of the home team that'll sum it up auto fill that down and now we've got our goals for and goals against goal difference is simply goals for minus goals against we can just auto fill that down and finally to calculate a team's points use the same summing function so our range will be the home teams, control shift uh, down arrow to select, we'll go to the last cell of this range, make sure you absolute reference everything that needs to be absolute referenced. And we're going to want to return the sum of that team's home points. And we're going to do the same process, the sum of a team's home points plus the sum of a team's away points in a season is going to equal their total points. So our range will just be the away teams. Our criteria will be the same. Um, that'll be the team. In this case, for this row, it's Brentford. And our sum range will be um, away team points. Again, a nice trick, control shift down arrow, highlights the cells down to the last um, cell in the range. Wrap it in if error formula to return zero if there's an error, enter. And we can see Brentford's got 46 points. And by inspection, Manchester City have 93 points, which is the highest in the league.
This table looks all right. However, when I try and sort this table um, to determine each team's positions, Excel can't handle this. This is because it's an array and arrays can't be changed. So highlight the array, go into the data tab, select sort, and firstly, we're going to try and sort by points, then by goal difference, as in the English Premier League, and then by goals for. In the order, it'll be largest to smallest for everything because we want the team with the largest amount of points to become first. This is the problem. When I press OK, it mucks it all up. So now, apparently, Manchester City have 40 points when we know from our formula they have 93. So this is wrong. Instead, I can use an array formula to sort this data based on the multiple criteria I need. So I drag your raw data down. I'm going to do it um, in line so that the club is in line with A27, and we just label this raw data. So now in cell A1, label uh, the A column position. We're going to find the position um, of each team with this. Um, so to fill this out, I'm going to use the array formula sequence, and I'm going to spill the amount of teams in the league to the below cells. So we're going to count uh, how many teams there are, and we have the width of one column, and we're going to spill this into uh, a sweet sequence from 1 to 20. Carry the previous headers from the raw data table beside position. Make that bold. Okay, so now in cell B2, I'm going to use the sort formula. This is where it all happens. So sort, our array, that's from Brentford to the uh, points of West Ham. Our sort index. So what you want to do is press shift and then um, the curly whirly brackets. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. I want to sort by firstly the ninth column, then the eighth column, so points, goal difference, and then the sixth column, goals four. And we're going to type in comma negative one. So we're going to sort in descending order. If we press enter, up comes our array. Manchester City comes first because They've got 93 points all the way down the Norwich at the bottom with 22. Now you can see here when two teams have the same amount of points because um, the eighth column, goal difference, was our second uh, sort index. They've been sorted so that uh, I believe Brighton's ahead of Wolves because they have a better goal difference. I'm now going to make it more visually appealing. So go to cell styles. Click a theme cell style. I'm going to put in some borders so that it's more um, easy to comprehend. And for the winner, I'm going to highlight that in a goldish color. The relegation zone in red, fill with red. There's nothing in there, so you can go to more colors. Just play around with that. All right, Champions League, highlight that in sort of a peach color. And then the Europa League, positions five and six, Arsenal and Man U, I'm gonna put in sort of a grayish color. And there you have it, a completed interactive league table. Let's check to see if this works. So go to results, and currently Liverpool are one point behind Manchester City. If we delete the whole of round 38, you can see our home points and away points are deleted and the table updates. So Man City go from 93 points to 90. Same with Liverpool, 92 points to 89. If we go up and change a specific result, say the um, Liverpool-Chelsea match where they drew one all in round three. If I um, make Liverpool score two, they win that match and they jump ahead of Manchester City in the final table. So you can see that whenever you update the results, it uh, the table um, changes accordingly. All right, that's it. All right, lads, if you want to find out how to return a league table correct as of a round, like this model shown, get this video to 50 likes and I'll publish how to change this model to solve this problem accordingly. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out our other videos by subscribing to Excel Lads.